Idea Shell for Android has two new features that I'd like to share with you. The first one is this here, widgets. So from the bottom to the top, we have new recording. And then there's this other one here that looks like a keyboard, which is just new typing. You can type a note. Then we have this one here uh, that's called Idea Shell. It has both icons. And finally, uh, the first one here, uh, we have the Ask AI. So this, let's go to my Android screen. This is how they look. And I'm really, really happy with this one here. I can just tap and record an idea. Uh, the way I'm using this app now because of its integration with Obsidian is to record my, it's not thoughts, not ideas, but my progress. Let's use my Apple IIe uh, project as an example. As you know, I really don't know a lot of what I'm doing there. I, I read a lot online, there's a lot of trial and error, and I have to take notes because when I figure out something, I need to use that in the future again. And what was happening was that I would try a lot of things during, I don't know, the day, and then at the evening or at night or the next day, I would take notes and I would forget things that happen. What I'm trying to do now is record it as it happens. So if I remove a board, I just record it, uh, I removed the board or I switched it to another expansion port. Whatever I do, if I clean something, I'm recording it. So it's much easier to have this timeline and I don't have to stop and type. I can keep working on the project. Okay, that's that. Let's talk about the other feature that is kind of related to the widget because I can now start recording and it will recognize more than one participant. So let's start a recording here and play this audio that what I have. What does the future hold? What are your, your big visions of the next five to 10 years of tech? It's a big question. Um, you know, the, in some ways we try to communicate aspects of the at iOS. Okay, the transcription is done. And as you can see here, this is the same typical uh, screen that we had before, but because of the speaker recognition, we can tap here and now we can see uh, different parts of the text connected to different speakers. So speaker one, then speaker two, then we have here again, speaker two and speaker one. And just like before, we can tap here to share and the text, the share it, text. We can send it to Obsidian like I did in the last video, but in this case the shared text will have the, the speaker, uh, it will identify the text, connect the text to each speaker. Pretty cool, right? I'll try this with some of my clients and I'll let you know how it did. If it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and if you want to help even more, please consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. You can also buy me a coffee. Thanks for watching. See you soon.